Hi, welcome to the second episode of Nitty Digits. I'm your host, Jay, and let's get started. Um, some few little tidbits first is, one, I've been trying to find a host for my video, so that way I can put it on iTunes so it's easier for people to get the podcast and not have to worry about going to YouTube and whatnot. Well, I submitted my first episode, just the first part of it, and it turns out it, because of the low quality, they rejected me. So I'm hoping if I give them this episode with my new HD camera, they'll reconsider. They also said it seemed like I was promoting things, so I'm going to be more... Uh, I'll try to be more savvy of making sure it's not promoting any specific thing. I just have my loves, so. Um, and two, don't mind me, I just came back from Stitches West and I'm still coming off the yarn high, so <sighs> forgive me. And I'm trying some new ways of doing this, so. But let's, let's jump right in. What's first off? my knitting needles. Yes, off. Very excited about this. I have off the needles the Devon socks. So let me make them. Sorry, again, I'm dealing with a new camera, so come on, focus. So again, you can't really see the diamonds. Oh, there you go. That's weird. Um, you can't really see the diamonds as much, but um, I finished the second one. Yay! Yay! One less socks I'm knitting, so very excited about this. Um, anyway, <laughs> again, yarn high. So, yay. again, these were um, Devon by Cookie A from the book Sock Innovation. Not a promotion at all, just love the book and have been knitting from it. Um, in Blue Moon Fiber Arts, Socks That Rock Lightweight in the Knitters Without Borders, which actually, if you purchase this colorway, it gives, I think, a dollar or two dollars from the purchase to Doctors Without Borders. I believe. So I'm happy that I'm happy with the yarn. I'm happy with the socks. I've actually been wearing these for a while this week. So um, I'm very excited. So let me put that away. So that's off the needles. Only one. I'm still chugging along to with my other stuff. So let me show you that. Still working on my tight. Sorry, I dropped my sock. <laughs> I'm still working on my the lie, which is also from Cookie A, Sock Innovation. Um, still surprisingly on my first skein of yarn. I really thought I'd have. Run out, of, run out of yarn by the heel, but I'm on the foot, and I'm still chugging along. So I might have bought a skein of this yarn too soon, way too soon. So, oh, I have one more Titania. So, oh, sorry. So this is Blue Moon Fiber Arts, Socks That Rock. Um, in their colorway, colorway Titania, which is, I believe, was a 2006 uh, club color. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry. Let me reverse. Still getting used to the kinks. These, these were done in um, U.S. size one and a half in uh, millimeter 2.5 with my Addy Turbos. So these were done in that needle. And now back. These are 
um, my dropped a skein of yarn. Sorry for my bending. I'm gonna see if my feet. La la. Sorry. <laughs> um, these are done in my one U.S. size ones in my Haya Haya. Um, 2.25 millimeter needles. These were the ones that doing the toe on this one. I'm dropping my yarn again. I'm so sorry. Um, when I was doing the toe, just just about right around here was when my signature needles US ones broke. So I'm still on the wait list. And actually at Stitches West, there was one vendor that um, was selling sig signature needles and I'm like, oh, maybe they have US size ones? No. And then I uh, I then told her my sad story and that I'm on the waiting list. So I just have to be patient. What's that? What what's that? I don't I don't know what that is. So patience. So this this is my blue moon. Excuse me, my Valai in Titania Blue Moon. And um still in my bicycle veil. Um I don't think I mentioned it in my first episode. This um I love this vendor. It's zigzag stitches and love the bikes love love the bikes again not not being asked to do this i just love my products i'm a i'm a i'm a product geek how about that i don't want to use another word because we want to keep this at least kid friendly so i'm a product geek so my second one that's still on the needles which doesn't really show much improvement in my home and carry yarn bag. My friend got this to got this for me for Christmas. I don't know if I mentioned it last time. It's my back to scarf. And my love my love. Um skein. My skein's sadly right here. And the back Let's see if you can see it. I started decreasing right now. So you can see where I'm at. So it's ba it's a basic one where you just start increasing, and then once you get halfway through the yarn, you start decreasing until you get to four stitches, and then you're done. Very simple. This is my commuting bag. Um, when I'm on the BART train and just going away listening to other podcasts or listening to New Age music, because I can. I, I like listening to new age music when I'm on the train, when I'm commuting, so that way I feel more relaxed when I get home. Because the type of the type of work I do sometimes it's just either stressful or annoying. And so I just when I come home I just want to relax and chill out and I find it's better if I listen to that type of music when I'm commuting. So that way it's not you know, it doesn't take me longer. Anyway, back to, oh, excuse me, size, I believe it's, I didn't write this down, I'm sorry, it is my size 2, 2.75 millimeter in my Haya Haya's. I bought the Interchangeables Haya Haya Sharps, so this, you, you'll you hear me say Haya Haya a lot. It was actually a very good deal when I bought it, so I'm very happy. So that's what's on the needles. Now, I'm so excited. This is, this is, I'm so excited. So this is my nails portion. Um, so I, for this episode, I'm combining the nail swag with what's on my nails. Um, so before I show you and attempt to see if you can see, I, I'm hoping the camera shows it very well. Um, what's on my nails. I want to show you my nail swag that I got. So, again, I'm sorry if this is like a constant thing, but I'm not in any way paid to promote this company. I just want to show the love that is this company. Um, so, if you love nails, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm way too excited about this. So, um, very excited about this book. Let's move it. So, I, on my Twitter feed, I follow the pattern maker and used to be Dyer Feministy, um, Liz Absinthe. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong. Um, feministy. She, um, she did the Soroyan, the Soroyan um, shawl, the um, the traveling woman, and then some other other ones, other patterns. But she's she's known for her pattern making. Um, but she did use the dye yarn, Femme Fatale, and I have a couple of, couple of her yarns. And she actually sold some a little bit ago to pay for her wedding dress. And I said, I said yes, <laughs> I miss your yarn. And actually, let me. Sh Sorry, sideways. So this is from Femme Fatale. Um, this was in her Lilith face. Um, little faith face, I forget the name, but it's pretty. It's mine. So, uh, I helped her pay for her wedding dress. But, um, cutting to the chase, she likes to post pictures of her nails as well. And one of them was Julep. And I'm like, S I said, that's really pretty. And she's like, yeah, it's Julep. Oh, and by the way, they have a nail polish club. I get one. I get a box every month. I'm like, what? You're kidding me. Really? And this year, I I don't know if I said I've been trying not to do yarn clubs. Yarn clubs was my addiction last year, and I said no. I gotta save money. No more. I gotta just get my yarn either from random purchases and conventions. And then she's and then did not specify that I should not do any clubs. I just said yarn clubs, and when I found out there was a nail, po nail polish club, I squeed. I said, oh yes, and I bought their introductory, introduct, their box, their your first box, introduction, I can't pronounce it, introduction box, um, and so, how it, it's called their julep maven program and it's 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 more than just you get nail polish and that's it it's it's really it's it's way more than that it's you get 20 percent off any purchase if you decide to buy more than just your usual box if you get a box you get a box every month you are notified about it around the 20th of the month and then you have until the the 27th, 25th to 27th, to decide if you want to skip this month, choose a different, choose a different style because you're you're given a style and you stick with it, or you can always change your style if you decide now that's not my style, um, or just switch around per month. The third option is to give it to a friend if you find your friend would like it better, um, and that's it. So it it's really good, and so if say one month I decide I I don't really think I can afford a box this year you can just say no skip my skip my box and you could always just stop the club so and there's no having to renew you're in it it seems it seems like you're in it for life until you say yeah no more I can't fit any more polishes in my bathroom so which will be for a while for me so um let me so you get a box like this. I got, I really I squeed a lot when I saw this on my doormat. My poor neighbor is probably saying I have a weirdo living across from me. I don't care. So um, you first get a welcome card. It says welcome me. And they're just as excited. I I love. I love the part where it says, we jumped and cheered when you became a julep maybe. I hope you heard us. Um, and it's just, it, it's actually a really good company. I didn't know this when I bought it, but they're, they're ba it's a company based out of Seattle, Washington, and they have, they're for free. It says for free of chemicals, which I don't know what the fourth chemical is. So it's non-bad chemicals, and 
a portion of their proceeds go to women organizations, which is great. I really wish they would specify what organizations they do, although there's one product that I'm kind of waiting on that actually specifies what program they, they give to. So I, I was happy about that, but whenever someone says, oh, we give to an organization, this type of organization, no domestic violence organization, I've just learned that you, you should be specific. You know, we give to this organization, this organization, this organization, because you can say, oh, we give, but like, you know, you if you say it so vaguely, it just, it just seems like it's more of a add-on, like, a, oh, hey, any, anyway, sorry for the tangent, but anyway, I, I, I'm hoping that they really do give to organ, to women's organizations, because that would be great. Um, so then my... My thing is Boho Glam. I don't know if you can really read it, but um, I think this is really cool. So, a dynamic free spirit with a creative eye, your effortlessly chic look pairs earthy neutral tones with fun, vibrant colors, which I do tend to do. I don't wear as much jewelry as I think I do, and some of the stuff I really think is pretty, but it doesn't look on look well on my shape. So I tend to not buy them because I'm short. <laughs> and I love. I used to wear a lot of full length skirts, and you know they show pictures of these boho glam wearing all these long skirts, and I used to wear a lot of them, but I can't because I'm too short. So it doesn't it doesn't really look good. There there will be a day when I say I don't care and wear full long length skirts, but I think maybe when I'm retired, <laughs> or maybe you know in a few years. So, but that that's what's in the box. And then you get I got a sample that I used up already. Sorry, it's it was called Petty Cream, um, and I loved it. It was amazing. It was, it's out of stock, so I put it on my wish list. Um, and then you get three things. You get two nail polishes, and then you get some fun little hand things. So I got for the hand thing, the essential, come on. It's not going on. Sorry, again, I'm still getting used to my camera. Um, okay, well, I'm sorry. It's not. It's Julep Essential Cuticle Oil, all natural, um, and you just put it daily. Do it for your manicure, but also they suggest putting it daily around the around the cuticle around edge of nail to strengthen your nails and maintain your manicure so I've been doing that ever since I got it and it's been going well my cuticles are dry so it, it helps a lot to have that and then I go <laughs> so let me see if so the bottle does not do it justice and as you can see with my nails I'm wearing this so and the light actually is pretty good um, to see. It's gray. It looked gray on the computer. But if you really look, I'm not flipping you off, I promise. But Sorry. I'm really hoping. If I can do the maybe if I hit a setting that says autofocus, it'll be better. But <laughs> um, but it has it's gray, but it's green, which goes with St. Patrick's Day March theme. So and actually, I did a pretty good job on my right hand. I'm pretty happy. 
Um, tell you more details later. Um, and then this is this is Julep Petra. Sorry if you guys are getting dizzy and like, whoa! I gotta work on the autofocus. I'll have to work with the settings. I just got this and I, I played with it a little. Oh, if I hide my face, this is the Petra and it's a sparkly red. And when I was planning my week, because I, I, I try, I'm trying to get my manicures, my at least my paint to last a week. And I was thinking, oh, what I can do is I can have the the gray, because I thought it was gray. Um, gray with 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 the 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 Petra red dots all over it. Because, and I'll show this to you later, I have a dotting tool. I I have a dotting tool now. So I can dot. Well, last night when I was painting and did it, I need to find an uh, online tutorial to find out what's the best way to do dotting because when I did it, maybe I just chose the wrong size because I'll, sh I'll show you in a few minutes. But you have multiple sizes and I may have chosen the wrong one for my small nails, um, but it just it didn't look right. And I was I was about to live with it. I was about to live with it, but I remembered one tip that I read somewhere that said, no, life is short to have ugly nail polish. So I am, I had just, just put it in a, an old movie that I was watching, uh, I wanted to watch and I figured, you know what, I want to finish the movie, might as well go ahead, get the nail polish remover, remove it and do it do your nails the way you want to do it. So I stuck with just Lisa. Um, and I'll just have to, maybe I'll do this another time. Maybe when I feel, feel like doing the red. So I wanted to showcase both on my nails, but, um, it's just, it's, it wasn't working and it, it just looked too, I think it, it was because with the green gray and the red sparkle, it just reminded me of Christmas. We're done with Christmas, even though I love Christmas. Favorite holiday. It just, we're past that. We're getting to spring. So, and I just didn't like it. And the dots weren't right. And the perfectionist in me didn't like it. So, I got rid of it. So, let me let me show you the nails again. Um, so, I did one coat of the Lisa. And then, again, with my with my base coat I'm using the straightener to help my nails grow out because you see these two are getting a little bit longer which I'm very happy about um, well, at least the lighting is better I really need to work work on my focus I'm sorry you guys um, it's shiny it's I think you can see the green gray like, I think the lighting is a, is is better, so you can see the colors. And if I do it, this, there you go. It's just I wish you could, you could, like there's no sparkle. It's it's a cream base, and it's very lovely. And I'm getting better. <laughs> you don't see specks of yucky <laughs> coming off the. the the cuticle area there. So I'm really happy with the cuticle oil. Um, so, mm. so. Mm. one coat and really, really nice. Um, oh, wrong way. Let me do it this way. So it's really, I just, the application was wonderful. It you you don't need that much to put on the nail, you know, and then you only need one coat really. This is one coat, one coat, and it fills up the nail. Maybe because it's cream, but it's just the formula is wonderful. It's I, I actually like it much better than the Rescue Beauty, much better. So. I'm going to keep going with julep, <laughs> especially if, you know, 
they keep sending me boxes boxes every month so I just I love it and it smooths out so when I was putting it on the nail you know the one thing I I was told is that you you, you know you want to make the finish nice you want to even strokes and as someone who has shaky hands who you know sometimes it's just you know my hand will whoop, do that you know you I hate that it smoothed out it really did smooth out once it was drying like you could tell when it was dry because the the finish was smooth and it was just perfect um and then i'm 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 still doing the two top coats but this time i put two types of top top coat the first is nicole by opi which is a top coat plus and it's it's supposed to be a non um chip it's supposed to be chip free um which is great because it would be great to keep this going you know to keep my manicure going for a, a full week because when i did just two top coats of the Seche Vite, Seche Vite, it lasted three to four days, even when I put the new one, but then you could, maybe it was my application, but you could see the, the clear around it when it was growing, and it easily chipped off after the fourth and fifth day. Um, so I'm hoping that with the first layer being the top coat plus the chip free, or non-chipping top coat. And then with the Seche Vite, Seche Vite. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, I'm hoping that I'll still have the amazingness that is Seche Vite, but with the chip free of um, of the top coat plus. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm I'm ready for my next box, which you'll see later. And I'm not going to tell you what I have in there. I'm very excited. But I'm really excited about this new company that I found. And I'm really happy so far. So we'll see how it goes. But check out Julep. I'll put the, the website onto, onto the show notes. I'm not. So one thing as a maven, as a Julep maven, um, if you refer your friends out to become a maven you can then earn what they call jewels or jewels or you earn rewards um but since i mean it's just my following is, is small so far i i'm still not going to do that i'm still not going to give you the, my referral number or anything because i just i don't i don't think that's honest and again i'm not a promoter. I'm not saying julep is the one you only do julep. I I just I just want to spread the word about this amazing company. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reward myself by showing off a company. So that's my caveat. So I'm just gonna put the regular link um, and such. So let me show you my dotting tools. So in order to get these dotting tools, it's an add-on item for Amazon, and I'm an Amazon Prime member. And that's actually how I got this camera. So I needed to get the new camera because when I was watching the episode, I said, oh, no, no, that is, no, not good. I'm a perfectionist. I try to be as perfect as possible. Um, so I waited a little while. This was actually in my cart for a month because <laughs> I wasn't ready. I didn't have enough to get it added on with my, with my shipping, my usual free shipping. Um, but once I got the camera and my bird food, my bird food, um, I got it. So let me, let me show it to you. There you go. So it comes in multiple sizes to very small. Actually, let me pull it out for you. To the very small. Like you can see the little point. It's like very small. Very, very small. To 
the very big. So they have different sizes on both sides. So this one to this one. So this is like the next up. So you can see the, the ball right there. So to let's see what's the biggest one so I would think this is the biggest one sorry I'm talking to myself again yarn high yarn the high there we go so you can kind of kind of see the dot There you go. Okay, you can see the dot. See how big this dot is? So, I was using maybe the medium. No, and go here. Dot go. <laughs> dot go here. Again, learning, learning curve. There you go. Learning curve. So, I think this is the biggest one. I don't know, but yeah, mm, no, this looks bigger, hold on, let's see, no, this is bigger, so actually, I use this one, sorry, so I use, when I was trying to do my dotting, I was using this one, so I was using this for the small ones, and this, this one for the big ones. And I thought, this could be right for my fingers. Reverse. I thought this would be perfect, but it, it just wasn't right. And I also have very shaky hands. And so I, you know, it, especially with this hand, with my right hand, when doing it with my left, it just, it wasn't right. Also, I put two coats. I... I'm very stubborn in the sense of I always go by rules. I'm like, you always do two coats. I don't know why it's in my head that you have to do two coats. It just seems like I've always done two coats. So doing one coat just seems like odd. So, but the paint was so thick that when I was doing the dotting, it would stick to it. And it was just, it just wasn't right. The color wasn't right, but also the dotting wasn't right. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to have to find some tutorials to uh, um, learn about dotting. And you know what? I'm going to post it on the blog just to, you know, if I find a tutorial, I will link it. I will put it on the Ravelry group and I will post it on the blog um, for you guys as well. Because, you know, if you're going to get the tools, you should know how to use them, right? So, I'm very excited. I... Again, really, really, really want to do more artistic stuff with my nails. I don't, I mean, I love the polish, and I could keep going all day with my polish. But what really got me was the design. So, you know, I, I could always cheat and do those sticky ones that they have there. And maybe I'll, I'll do that for a while. But um, I really want to just start doing, doing the actual design myself. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Oh. <laughs> Stitches. <laughs> I'm getting hot, sorry. So, oh, by the way, what I'm wearing is, and I had it on backwards, sorry. So I had it on backwards all this time. It's my Dancing by You Sold a Tea in Malabrigo. And I, I like to wear my shawls again, like this. So I actually wore it like this all day. All day, all morning, and a little bit at the afternoon with stitches. Um, but I'm getting hot. I love my my apartment is usually freezing, so I don't know why all of a sudden I'm hot. But we. <laughs> um, sorry, the pattern again was damp in was the damson in Yusoto Teague's whimsical whimsical little knits, volume two. And in Malabrigo, uh, Botticelli Botticelli red. So. Uh, that was a pattern I did a couple months ago. So I do tend to knit a lot. 
<laughs> so there may be a lot of pad a lot of stuff that I'll show off that and I'll be like, oh I did it a few months ago. <laughs> so Stitches West. It was a lot of fun. And I stayed within budget. Even less. I actually had money money left over. So I put it back in my yarn box. So to kind of give you a backstory, my my friend Listy, she uh she actually inspired me to do this. She um, had a big planner's can that she would always put her change. Like, she would have leftover change. And instead of just keeping it and letting it sit there, she would put it in the planner's can. And she would let it fill up, fill all the way up until stitches south. And then she'd use that change to buy yarn. And I'm like, that is a neat idea. So I didn't get a planner's can. But my dad had a leftover cigarette box, uh, not cigarette box, excuse me, cigar box. And um, I said, can I, can I steal that from you? And he's like, yeah, sure. And so I kind of decorated with uh, stickers and I called it my yarn box, my stitches box. And every year, throughout the year, I put in my change. You know, I, I made more of an effort of taking out the cash that I need rather than using my debit card smart and whatever you know leftover dollars I, I even put five dollars in there for a while you know five dollars one dollars coins anything that was left over that I you know I would always leave two to one dollars in in my wallet the rest would go into my box and I last year didn't do that much because I actually um, during some hard times I actually had to dip into it but this this year I, I did really well and then with the tax refund I had a good portion to go to go into stitches stitches not as much as I'm as I was used to last year I had about a budget of 200 so um, this year I had 120 so I went under budget I figure I spent about a hundred dollars so um, and it was really fun it was a it was a lot of fun. We, I, but we didn't spend as much time as we used to. And we, you know, we were talking. I, I mentioned that, and my my friend Alicia said that it's because we've done this so many times, and so we know what we want, and we know what you know, we know what we don't want, and we know what to expect, and and how to rein ourselves in. So that's why you know we got in. We lined up at nine o'clock. No, sorry, nine. 9.15, waited there, got surrounded by people, <laughs> got surrounded by lots of people, they took lots of pictures of us, right at the very front of, uh, very front of the doors, they open, this, this kind of bugged me actually, they opened the doors, and then not letting us in, they kept taking pictures and waving, I'm like, hi, okay, I've waved, how many times let me in, let me in, and like, I had people right behind me. I wish I had taken video. I actually took a video of us when we lined in, and then I took a video of us um, actually going into the center and then us leaving. So I'm actually going to put that at the end of the video, um, and then a couple of pictures. But anyway, back to us trying to get in. They they kept taunting us. They're just like, wave, but you can't come in. And I'm like, okay, let me in. I want yarn. <laughs> They didn't. They've never done that before. I don't remember it, at least. And that was just. I know they're what they were trying to do. They were trying to get pictures for their Twitter feed or Twitter feed, Instagram, um, and trying to just show off the people and Stitches West and whatnot. But that was mean. I really wanted to get in, and I this year I really, really did not want to go crazy. I did not want to go squee crazy and go running around and saying we need to go here we need to go here um so but i still kind of did that because um when preparing for stitches and figuring out where i wanted to go where we could possibly go i printed out a map during my lunch hour at work and um let me let me show it to you I highlighted it and I put <laughs> I 
I put where each one is. <laughs> the name of the name of the of the vendor and I color coded it. So pink meant maybe if we had enough money. And then I put it out there. Right. So if you look yellow is must go maybe if money not money not spent so i did that because i was bored at work actually i was bored at work um <laughs> and you know what's funny is i had printed this out i did all that and we started doing my plate of attack and then I just said you know what I want to have I really want to have fun and I don't want to feel like I'm bossing my friends so wander just wander let's go let's just wander around and I was very good I followed my own tips <laughs> didn't did not bring my credit card left the credit card at home and brought only my cash and brought only my cash and my ID card well driver's license and um, and I did not buy at the first, at the first vendor, um, which was Blue Moon. Of course Blue Moon. Come on. Blue Moon Fiber Arts, man. But, we, I did not buy from you. So, I had two goals that I don't think I mentioned in, uh, in the last podcast, which was, I had two goals. I wanted, one, to buy from a diet that I don't have. And I've always wanted to have or just want to try it. And I was very specific. I did not want to have, I didn't want to buy any any yarn from people that I have I have tons of. So that meant Lisa Souza. That meant, that meant, excuse me, English. That meant Blue Moon Fiber Arts. I just, I love, oh, God. They had a TARDIS blue that was beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. And medium and medium weight too, so you could do more than just socks. And actually, I, I find their medium weight better for shawls and whatnot than socks. Socks medium weight just tends to be too clunky in the sneakers. But um, yeah, no, <laughs> love, love blue moon, the Tardis blue. That's just yeah, no, I didn't get it. They also had a Downton Abbey themed. <laughs> Sorry. They had a Downton themed yarn called Lady Edith, which everyone around, once you saw Lady Edith, you're just like, oh my god! And then people said, have you seen the season finale? Oh my god. And then actually one woman, I wasn't going to say anything, but I said, so season finale, she's like, Shh, no, 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 no. I'm like, I wasn't going to say anything. She's like, I know, but no. I'm like, okay. Because there are still people that still have not seen the season finale, which I saw it way before it was aired because of my Amazon Prime and TV pass. But anyway, so it was still, I I was very good on that. My second goal was to, what was my second goal? Sorry, I have it in my show notes. Hold on. Brain freezing. Um, more variety. That's right, more variety. So... I I wanted more variety in colors because I tend to do I tend to do a lot of browns, pinks, blues, very jewel tones and I wanted more variety. Well, I mean looking at now, I still bought jewel tones, but I bought something that's not Okay, I didn't make that goal because I'm just realizing I bought sock yarn. And I bought jewel tones. Again, I just came back. I'm sorry. Thought process. Um, so I didn't make that goal, but I did do a variety in the sense of dyers. So okay, I met that goal in one eighth. So okay, no further ado. Let me let me stop stalling and showing you and show you what I got. Am I going slow enough for you? I, so it's becoming art. Lovely. 
in their Celo fingering. Let me show you. Celo fingering in their luminous, luminous heart. So, you are not gonna focus, are you? 100% superwash, superwash fine merino, fingering weight. So again, got top yarn. Um, 437 yards, and it's 114 grams. And it's just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, you guys. I'm a yarn sniffer. Um, I, I actually don't buy a lot of purples. So, it is variety in the sense that I don't buy a lot of purples. Come on, give me that. No? Okay. Um, I was really, that. this was the one person that I wanted to buy from. Because last year, my friends and I, when we went around, I, I did go a little geeky again. And I bought, I bought, a, I bought a lot more and I also spent my money earlier than I did this year. Um, so by the time we were walking around and looking at new things, we everyone was able to get a scan of this, but I didn't because I had no money. So, um, yeah. But, so I was very determined. I said, okay, you guys, I don't care wherever we go. I, I just highlighted what I wanted to look at. I really just want to get a scan of the coming art. And they're just like, what was that one? I'm like, how could you forget this one? <sighs> I like art, pretty, yarn, vibrant. And I describe more and they're just like, oh yeah, that was really good. I got some. I'm like, yeah, I didn't know. So that's all that matters, right? Anyway, um, so I got a scan. I'm very happy. Um, and then... The only other thing I got, are we at all surprised that we got a Doctor Who themed yarn? So, I'll give you one guess. One guess. Because if you don't get it, you're not, you obviously don't know Doctor Who. And if you don't know Doctor Who, please, Netflix, instant. Amazon, instant. Check it out. <laughs> it's called The Doctor's Wife. So let me. La la. But it, it's a. It, the yarn company, the Indie Dyer, is Skein Dulles. And I will make sure to link her Etsy site. She's on Etsy. Um. And the name of it is The Doctor's Wife. It's 497 yards, 100 grams. And it is, and so what What she did is she gave you the, the, the blue. Oh, oh, no, no, don't go for me. Don't unravel. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry. No! I don't care anymore. Okay, sorry. Sorry. So she gave you then a white portion. So there is a, there is a sock pattern for a tar for the TARDIS that you, you need white and you need the blue. So this is good enough for the white portion. So... Tags upside down. Sorry. So, scandalous. The indie dyer's name is Donna Seeks. I hope I'm saying that right. Donna Seeks, and she she laughed at me when I was squeeing. I'm like the doctor. I heard TARDIS. What? So, backtrack. When we were walking, we were actually heading to a to a specific vendor because again we were still on the hunting hunt and kill method of um, shopping and I heard oh yeah it's a TARDIS color what 
me and TARDIS, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the fact that it's just this beautiful blue. But I'm obsessed with the TARDIS image. It, it's not just Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. I, I especially love David Tennant. David Tennant's my favorite. And then Matt Smith is getting close to my second favorite. Until he decided he wants to leave. Which hasn't happened yet. He better not. He better decide he, he, he doesn't want to become an American movie star and stay with Dr. Who again. We'll see. I don't, I think it's, I think this upcoming season is his last. And I'll be very sad because he, he, he's my second favorite. But anyway. But I heard TARDIS and I instantly stopped my tracks and zipped over and said, you said TARDIS? You said TARDIS? So... Oh, she showed me what she was talking about. And I actually didn't buy it right away. So I looked at it. I thought it was very pretty. I squeed. I, I just went over the moon over it. And then I said, you know what? It's too early. I haven't got my Becoming Arm yet. We're going to wait. So I put it back. I said, I will see you later. And then... um went around, bought my becoming art, and then came back. So, yay! So that's actually on my yarn. I know! Shocker! I'm usually showing off like five to six skeins, maybe ten. I use, you know, the icons for the, uh, for, for the podcast, for the podcast is actually a pile of yarn that I've gotten at Stitches. Yeah. No, I'm serious. That I used to have tons that I could fill full frame. A picture that I was actually talking about when driving back home is, you know, I don't have, you know, one, I don't have room anymore. And two, it's just, it was, that was $600 worth. And no, I was good this year. So, um, I did get one more thing. <laughs> I got a project bag. So the the bag, okay, so if you look from afar, okay, actually, I just gave it away. If you looked really quickly. So if you look, oh look. Beautiful. That must be Jane Austen, right? this or you know wrong way wrong way okay I'm gonna figure yeah there you go what is that blood what the is that what is that that's a zombie right yes she made a bag so the company's called Slip Stitch Studios, and she made a bag, and this was actually part of her bag club. Yes, there is a Knitting Project bag club. <laughs> I did say no yarn clubs, right? Right? <laughs> um, and one, one month it was Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. So you could choose a fabric that was just normal, Jane Austen. Not normal, but like regular, just Jane Austen. And in the background, if you if you can kind of see, it's actually Pride and Prejudice being t typed up behind there. If you can kind of see, so the the uh, the people had to de could decide if they wanted to do um, just the regular Jane Austen, beautiful, you know, homage to Jane Austen, or they could choose a zombie fabric. And this was actually a little bit more because she had to specifically re, um, make this from Spoon Flower, um, which is a it's actually a really good company. Um, I'll, I'll link it to you. Link it as well. Just remind. I'll have to remember Spoon Flower. Um, it's it's a it's a place where you can make your own fabric and they'll print it out for you. And so it was a little bit more money than it was stated. Um, there's a little bit more. So that that's actually where most of my money went. Was if I didn't get 
if I did not get this project bag, I would have gotten maybe two more, eh, maybe two more skeins of yarn, but it's Jane Austen, it's books, it's, but it's zombies, which I'm not actually a big zombie fan. I'm actually more of a vampire gal, but <laughs> they haven't made a Jane Austen vampires yet, have they? I should look into that. Should look into it. But anyway, it's zombies. And I really love the construction. So if you look, it has a cinch. Really nice. I'm not big on these type of cinchy cinchers because especially with me and my clumsy self, I would probably just be like, oh, I broke. Oops. But I like the finished touch with the string. Look, I'm not sorry if my fingers are. And then the the bag that so I actually had this as my bag to hold my all of my yarn, my two skeins. And just it was so easy and it was actually very nice um, to hold around. And I got I got what what do they call this? This is the project plus project bag medium. So this is it says is the perfect the project plus tote is the perfect size to fit everything you need to complete a single average size project. So they had a Project Plus, which was a medium. They also had the Sock Plus, which I, I actually have a lot of sock bags, a lot of sock project bags. And again, wanting to do more than socks. So I bought the more expensive one because I just decided, you know what? You don't need that much yarn anyway. So, and this is Jane Austen. <laughs> um, just like the in the bottom, if you look at the bottom in the stitch work, it's just it's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And then if you look, let me show you the inside. And she and she said it's actually reversible. It's a reversible bag, unless unless I, I misheard her. Um, but I think this is also the one that you can reverse. Um, so let me reverse it. Although I really like the outside more, so probably won't reverse it, but don't kill your bag. Because see the bottom doesn't have that nice canvas. But so if you look, it has you know pockets and the fabric is really pretty on the on the inside too and the cinchers. Don't, you might even ask her what the cinchers were for. Can you in my see see the, these cinchers? I you know I need to ask what that is. Um, so, yeah, really, really happy. This was actually one that I didn't even think of highlighting. See, again, this is why I should really rethink planning things and doing plan of attacks because honestly, plans don't go as you want them to. Come on. Everyone knows your plans, most of the time, your best laid plans just never happen. So, um, I don't know why. I think I really was bored at work, so <laughs> I really was bored at work, so I just decided to do that. Um, but I'm really happy about this bag, which means I need to knit a sweater <laughs> or do something other than small little socks. So it'll inspire me to do sweaters, right? So I'm very excited. Very very, and I so the the owner was saying and actually let me pull let me pull so how we how we were kind of refer we didn't actually go out and search for this for this vendor um again wasn't highlighted but we were passing i'm like oh wait remember when we were in line and they were talking about this Who? It says Doctor Who Project Bags Limited Availability. Hurry to booth 845 to 847. TARDIS. Hello, did did I not mention I'm in love with TARDIS? <laughs> so um I saw him like Doctor Who, Doctor Who, and both both my friends were just like, okay, we get it. We love Doctor Who, okay? So we went in. Of course, by that time, it was gone. The owner's like, yeah, 
gone by the first five minutes. Okay, I figured as much. And then she kind of, she's good. She was very good. She kind of showed us the different other, so the, what their club does, it, it's, I actually need to add them on Facebook, is they, they, for every month, I don't, I don't know if it's every month or every three months, like usual yarn clubs, but they're, they have themes. So they had Jane Austen and zombies or just Jane Austen. They had Doctor Who, they've had a Doctor Who theme multiple times. So that's what, this was left over from their club. Um, they had, they had Downton Abbey. Um, they had, oh no, no, sorry. That's future. They're going, they're going to do a Downton Abbey. Um, so they've done multiple Doctor Who and Jane Austen. Um, but their next one, their next one is Firefly. Yes. Oh my God. So <laughs> I'm debating. I again I I said no clubs, and I think I think I'm pushing the line with project bags. I where am I gonna put this stuff? Where? So we'll see. We'll see. I I really love Firefly though, and Downton Abbey. So that's that's the following one. I think will be Downton Abbey. I'm like, come on. So, um, yeah. I I really. I hi I the stitching is great. I'm very. I do not. I do not regret using most of my money on, on this bag because it, it just it's. It's perfect. So, so that's that's it. Let me show you some other stuff. So, there were some things that I got. Sorry for my bending. It's just it's better to keep my stuff here. So you may see see me a lot of bending, but it's not a lot. But um, let me show you something. So this was from. Even though I didn't buy anything, my friend bought some, so I felt justified to steal a penny. Um, a stitch in time saves lives. I'm not sure what it means, but it's kind of cute. So I got that. And then the other one was I knit socks because I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, and actually, let me show you. So um, I got a mystery egg from the Slip Stitch Studios. Because I guess it's over $10 or something. I don't know. But it was an egg. See the egg? And I open it up. It's you know, it was different things, but it it's a it's a row counter. Although I don't know why it's showing up green. It's blue actually. It's supposed to match the the, the egg. It's kind of weird. Anyway. So that's that. And then they had in the little platter these stitch markers of sheep and other things. Oh, come on. Focus. Focus. Oh, no. Come on. Focus. Focus, camera. Focus. It's a tortoise. <laughs> Did I not mention? It's a tortoise with a sheep and a project bag. Come on. And I'm like, ooh, those are so pretty. And the guy's like, it's free. You can take one. I'm like, really? Really? He's like, yeah, you can take one. I was almost about to say just one, but I don't want to push my look. So, isn't that pretty? It's just, it's just, it's just foam. It's just a foam. It's very light. And it's... I'm going to have to take a better picture of it. I'll, I'll promise to put better pictures. Because again, apparently, me and, me and technology do not like do not like each other. And I can't seem to get it to focus. I'll, again, new camera. Just getting used to the kids. At least the lighting is better. And it doesn't look grainy and yucky. At least I'm hoping that. It looks good. So if you see, sometimes if I'm doing looking down or whatnot, I'm actually looking at the camera just to make sure I'm in frame and everything's focusing. So again, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna s kinks. I have them anyway. So that's what I got. That was my ending with slip stitches, and then um, I 
This was at the Malabrigo. This was at the Malabrigo uh, table. I just love the hat. It was a free pattern, so why not? And I need more hats because when I when I walk when I walk to the oh it's even that's funny. It's called station hat. And I was just about to say when I walk to the BART station. Anyway. So that's that. I got that for free. I'm hoping it was free. So and then here's here's the uh the uh, card for scandalous. And then the one was hilarious. I'm like, let me let me get you a card and let me write down the name that you're gonna because I know there's probably gonna be more TARDIS. So here you go. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna forget, trust me. I did not forget. So I didn't need I didn't need a card because I just shoved it in my purse and I never saw it again. So yeah, I'll link it. So then there were a couple of other things that um, I wanted to show you. So there was this one shop that I'm going to remember. Hopefully she'll, she wasn't, I don't think she was there last year because I would remember her booth. Her booth was just so much fun. It, it has a thing. It's called Delicious Yarns. And so you see that cupcake right there? Oh! So she made it like very much like a bake shop, like a sweet shop bake shop, and it was all pinks, and it had like a look old sweet shop awning and everything, and it was just very much like you were in a bakery, and it was very well done, cute tea lights, it was very well done, and I was very impressed. And if I didn't want to violate anything because I didn't know if she, if she would be if the vendor would be okay with me taking a picture, because that's the one thing about shows that you have to remember, and I saw so many people violate, is before you take a picture, you always ask, because especially like Blue Moon Fiber Arts, I asked one, one year, and she's like, no. And it's it's not just them being mean, it's or them just being snobby and whatnot, it's it's proprietary. proprietary. I'm trying to be smart with big words, and my, my, word, my mouth does not want to say it. It's property rights. It's, there's certain things about taking a picture of a booth that is just, you know, some people may try to copy it and claim it's their own, that sort of thing. And so you always want to ask. And the owner was busy, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to push my luck and say, can you take a picture? But you always ask. You always ask, and there were many, many women that weren't asking. I'm just like, you gotta ask. I didn't want to be rude and say, you gotta ask. Stop doing that, because I probably would have done it, but I'm trying to rein in my craziness, so just always ask. I mean, there's some people that just, that just say, sure, yeah, go ahead, and then there's some people like, like Blue Moon and maybe Delicious Yarns that um, just say, no, sorry, I, I really don't feel comfortable, and that's that. Respect their privacy. So she had and this was this was a lot of fun. And if she comes back next year, I think I'm gonna buy a skein from her. Because there was my friend bought a skein of it. Um and I wanted to be such a poser. Poseur, as my one of my English professors used to say. I wanted to be a poseur and um wanted to buy the yarn too, but by that time I'm like, you know what? No, that's okay. I'm going to get TARDIS themed yarn rather than bunny. It, it really looked very much like a bunny. It was like light gray, light gray, white, and a very very small touch of pink. Very small touch of pink. It was very beautiful. And I just, the, the, it was very soft. So this will be on my, check this out. Check this out. So um, that's that. And then this one is another check out. I... I've been getting into a lot of ceramics, and I, I, I'm tempted to get a yarn, those yarn balls, but like not ones that I use to kind of thread. You know, kind of like this, if you can see. Like you see, if you can see, like the little uh, crater type lip. If you you know you put the yarn through here and you thread it, and that's it holds your yarn while you're knitting. I don't really want it for that purpose, just to just to kind of show it off 
Um, and of course, make sure there's no wool moths. <sighs> Found a wool moth the other day. It kind of sprang up on me and I killed it. And then this morning I found a regular moth and I just about died. I had to bug bomb my apartment. So, um, but this was another one. They, they, I pulled, I asked for the card because they had some ceramic mugs for coffee that were pretty amazing. Pretty bloody amazing. Um, one, one was pirate themed. So I'm a vampire and pirate girl. If you want to get into like, geeky things that I'm into. I'm into vampires and I'm into pirates. So I actually have a pirate costume. <laughs> um, and so the, the reason why I pulled them is they had a mug that's, that had like the usual Jolly Roger crossbones that said, YARN! Like, yes, but it, it was I, with the money that I had, I only had about eight dollars left, and <laughs> it's definitely more than eight dollars. Eight more than eight dollars, so didn't get that. Um, but I got the card. So overall, great success. Great success. Um, I, I, and you know, there was, there was one regret that I really wish, you know, I, I should have thought better about. So one of the vendors that I really wanted to get that I, I actually don't have too much of is Miss Babs. And she, but the thing is she's at Stitches West and she's also at Stitches South. So I mean a lot of becoming art is not in Stitches South and I don't believe the scandalous schemes are the scandalous yarns are, are going to Stitches South. So um I I I figured, you know what, I'll get it, I'll get it when I go to Stitches South, but Miss Babs Yarns had, and I forgot they had this, I don't know why I forgot, but they have a color affection sets that is all skated together, but I think you're supposed to, she, Miss Babs was trying to explain it to me, and I'm like, but it's all wound in one skein, okay, but it's basically, it's colors together for the color affection shawl. Yes, <laughs> and, um, oh my god. Yes, I really want to make that pattern. And the colors she chose were just amazing. She was actually wearing her own. Very, very, very beautiful. And I was just like, I covet. Her line was very long. I've never seen her line that long, even at Stitches South. So I, I, she's becoming more, she's becoming in the category of Blue Moon Fiber Arts, which is fun. I'm so happy for her. And, but now we're going to have to start making her a priority because oh my god oh but it was like 72 75 dollars and yeah i only had enough for one more thing so i'm gonna have to remember to put her in my must because i i really want to do a color affection i think that's just a smart way of doing it um another re i don't want to call her regret i guess it's more of more more of i really need to plan ahead was Lisa Souza. I love Lisa Souza. See, the thing is, I didn't want to get Lisa Souza because, again, I have so much of her yarn that I have in it. But there were two skeins of yarn that I really wanted. But, again, just didn't go with my guidelines and I didn't, you know, try to budget. So, that was where I probably, the old me, would have then pulled out the credit card that I had supposedly hidden from myself and said, please. <laughs> so I'm, I'm again, very glad I hid my card. So, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, if the, the one color was called um, Autumn. Gorgeous, gorgeous reds, gorgeous browns, just very good, and the, the skein I picked up was like a, a merino silk, oh my god, silk, I just love sometimes how silk can take dyes, oh my god, um, so, anyways, and then the other one was Pez, I think, which was a spatter of yarn, very light colors, and then a spatter of colors, very pretty, but, yeah. so that was Stitches West, um, I am over an hour, again, because that's, somehow I seem to chatter. Um, but thank you for sitting through everything. 
and letting me squee a little. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll have more. I will definitely have more next week because I think my box is coming in. But maybe not. We'll see. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and have a great nitty digit day. You know the bed feels warmer sleeping.